Hello guys and welcome to another wonderful video. We have this interesting question right here. 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n is equal to 2016. And we have to find the values of m and n. And m and n are all integers. So we are looking for integer solutions. But before we begin, as always, feel free to pause the video and give it a try first. Are you done? Now let's get right into it. The question is analytical because we need to analyze it before we can solve. Now it is obvious that on the left hand side of the equation the bases are the same but the powers are different. Then on the right hand side we have a positive number right here that is 2016. Now the fact that the bases are the same means that this power right here is greater than this power right here which is n. That is how come we have the right hand side to be positive. So we can write a simple inequality for this. In fact, we can say that m is greater than n. And that is obvious because we have the right hand side to be positive. This is greater than that. So we can write this. But the question is, how can we make m equal to n? We can just write a simple equation for this. In fact, m will be equal to n when we add a certain constant, say k. And of course, this k is also an integer just like that k is also an integer or we can also say that m minus k is equal to n that is when we take a certain constant from m that will be equal to n so all these three equations are almost the same right and of course this k right here is also an integer now how is these equations going to help us solve the question in fact now that we have any of this in place of this m here we can put any of these equations but I'm going for this first one. Whenever I see m, I'm going to put n plus k. So now we're going to have 2 to the power n plus k, then minus 2 to the power n, and this is 2016. Just like that. Now this right here could also be written as 2 to the power n, then times 2 to the power k, then minus this right here, that is 2 to the power n is equal to 2016. It is obvious that 2 to the power n is common, so we can just factor it out. So we're going to have 2 to the power n, then the inside will be 2 to the power k minus 1, and this is equal to 2016, just like that. Now let's pay attention to this right here. 2 to the power n, of course, this n right here is an integer so everything right here is an even number 2 to the power any integer is an even number now let's pay attention to what is inside the parenthesis right here 2 to the power k of course k is also an integer so this right here is also an even number but remember whenever you take one from any even number you'll be getting an odd number so this is even and everything in the parenthesis is an odd number now let's rewrite this 2016 in such a way that you have even times odd. That is pretty much simple, right? So I'm just going to copy this down. We have 2 to the power n, then times 2 to the power k minus 1, and this is equal to, I'll check this out, 2016 is the same as 2048 minus 32. And so I'll just copy the left hand side down. Now let's go ahead and then factor out 32 so that we get 32 times now, 2048 divided by 32, that will be just 64. Then 32 divided by itself will be 1. Just like that. Now, check this out. 32 is obviously an even number. 64 is also an even number, but minus 1 makes everything inside the parentheses an odd number. So, we have right here to be odd. We have this right here to be also odd. This is even. This is also even. So let's go ahead and then equate even to even or to odd. So that the new two equations now becomes 2 to the power n is equal to 32. That will be our equation 1. Then the second equation is also going to be 2 to the power k minus 1 is equal to 64 minus 1. And this will be our equation 2. Now from equation 1, we can rewrite it as... 2 to the power n is equal to 32 is the same as 2 to the power 5. The bases are the same, so straight away we can say that n is equal to 5 as a solution. Cool. 
Now let's come to the second equation. With this second equation, in fact, straight away we can clearly see that this and this will go because if we transpose this here to zero, right? Then we will have 2 to the power k is equal to 64. And we can also rewrite this as 2 to the power k is equal to 2 to the power 6. So straight away the bases are the same, therefore k is equal to 6. Now remember we are not looking for k, we are looking for m and n. We now know what n is, left with the value of m. Now check this out. We know that m is equal to n plus k. We know the value of n to be 5 and then k to be also 6. 5 plus 6 is nothing but 11. So ladies and gentlemen, we have m to be 11 and then n to be 5. If we go ahead and then replace that right here, we will have 2 to the power 11 minus 2 to the power 5, which is equal to 2016. Just like that. Very simple. The question is interesting, but pretty simple. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. These are the steps you can go through, and don't forget to check out this video or this one. See you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take good care of yourself, and see you again on the next video, like I said.